two vehicles. One has a light pole on top of it, medic 10, engine 6 on the fire maintenance. Sure. Policing is a physically demanding profession. Sam wants to three vehicles in the room. Officers spend extended periods of time in their squad car. Um, that's their office. <laughs> Without a moment's notice, they'll have to get up, get out of their car. They may have to run. They may have to chase after a combative subject, and they do all of that while wearing 20 to 25 pounds of equipment on their on their waist. There were there were cases of police officers who were complaining about low back discomfort um, and thought it was because of the way that they carry their equipment. And so traditionally, they carry their equipment on a duty belt that goes right around their hips. Uh, even though I've only been here for uh, a few years. Uh, I had already started experiencing some sciatic pain, uh, which was, you know, more in my hips uh, versus the um, traditional lower back pain. Um, so the research that we're going to do with the Eau Claire Police Department is testing the officers on a variety of, of uh, health parameters. It's a total of a six month total period and um, we'll use that time to track what your pain levels could possibly be. So. Our main portion of the study is looking at the vest, that the load-bearing vest that they wear compared to what they typically wear, which is the load-bearing belt. Because a lot of these officers have been having the pain with the belt, so we're looking to see maybe it'll be less pain if we shift that weight up to the vest. I love it. They, uh, first day wearing, I can really feel the uh, difference as far as back pain and just you know, not having that stress in your back or, you know, it's just, it feels a lot better already on the first day I wore it. It's a lot of weight that was off my waist. Um, I was able to sit, I guess, straight against the seat in the squad um, instead of kind of curve forward with my back. Um, just a lot more comfortable and sort of a lot less problems with my back. Eau Claire Police Department has received a, quite a few inquiries from other agencies from throughout the country on this and are curious and of what the results are. It's going beyond the city of Eau Claire. We have people from, you know, the Sturgeon Bay area. I had people that I visited in Minnesota at the University of Minnesota interested in this research. It's, it's exciting to be kind of on the leading edge of research in that area. Um, we do pride ourselves as a police department and I think we pride ourselves as a community on being the models of best practice and this is just yet one other example of that. This study was important. Uh, we needed to make sure that moving that equipment off of, off of the traditional duty belt up onto a vest would improve the officer's uh, well, well-being and health. As a result of the work that the student researchers conducted and our officers that participated in the study, we're going to be moving forward with issuing load-bearing vests to all of our officers.